What's up, guys? Frugal BC had some great news about Hedera today, including smart contract verification coming to Hedera. We got that, plus we got some quarter three stats that are looking great for Hedera. Um, a Web3 last mile delivery service has just announced Hedera integration. Binance Japan is going to list HBAR. It's good to see. You got some uh, crazy HBAR or uh, crazy Binance news going on right now, but it's nice to see that Japan is listing it. And just something I just thought was kind of cool, the LG Art Lab. I want to take a look at that today. Uh, guys, before you do that, if you don't mind, hit the uh, hitting the subscribe button and like button helps uh, the algorithms and helps us too. And help you see all our videos on Hedera, Algorand, and other blockchains. And as you know, we don't give you any bull. We just give you the facts and uh, let you decide, give the good, bad, and the ugly of all the projects that we cover here and i also want to thank our sponsors we are sponsored by non-fungible domains if you want that dot algo address that's the place to get it check out non-fungible domains in the description below and we are brought to you by the web3 game fractal monsters uh, play for free or buy one of the nfts you can earn on the algorand blockchain uh, link in the description fractal monsters kind of a mix between tamagotchi and and pokemon is what i like to call it Anyway, uh, let's get into this news. I want to talk about contract verification on Hedera because I think this is a really, a really awesome piece of news. Let's take a look at this. This is right from Hedera itself. It says, we are excited to announce the availability of smart contract verification on Hedera, bringing increased trust and transparency through the enablement of smart contract evaluation, ensuring alignment between deployed bytecode and source files. Using this new service, all users on the Hedera network will be able to independently verify smart contracts and make informed decisions on whether a contract is worthy of interaction, bolstering, bolstering security and driving community collaboration. So that's a little bit more of a clear explanation than they had above. And uh, they say this is a, this believe this service is a critical step to forward for developers, enterprises, Web3 solution providers, and end users facilitating more Hedera transactions to be secure and transparent. Thank you for joining us in creating a more trustworthy ecosystem. And of course, they include the hashtag Hello Future. I like this. I think that's great news. Anything that's going to bolster the HBAR system and transparency on the chain is a good thing. And I think this will this will go a long ways towards verifying those smart contracts. So it's good to see that. Meanwhile, speaking of transactions on Hedera, Masari, Masari came up with a recent report for quarter three and looking really good for Hedera. Let's take a look at this one. This is on DAP Radar. Uh, not, oh, sorry, did I say Masari? I meant DAP Radar. All right, uh, third quarter, I'm just going to go beyond that. Uh, third quarter of 2023 has been a period of notable advancements and dynamic engagements within the Hedera blockchain ecosystem with a distinct emphasis on decentralized finance and an emerging footprint in the non-fungible token sector. We're going to take a look at one of those projects a little later. Hedera has showcased a burgeoning ecosystem driven by innovation and collaborative partnerships. We have seen a lot of partnerships. Uh, so let's look, here's the key takeaways, and this is where we're going to stay right here. Uh, Hedera had an average of 2,473 daily unique active wallets in quarter three, 2023. Uh, the DeFi, I happen to have hash graph, my, or hash pack, excuse me, myself. I like that one. Uh, the DeFi product category attracted 80% of activity while the remaining 20% can be addressed to NFT trading. Okay, and uh, this one's great. Uh, during quarter three, 2023, Hedera's DeFi-centric ecosystem grew 15% with a TVL of 52 million, placing it 43rd among all blockchain networks. So that's not bad. I think we'd probably want to get that up a little bit because it's, uh, it's definitely higher in market cap than that. And uh, I kind of wonder what Algorand ranked at. I know it's, I'm pretty sure it's TVL is higher than... Uh, than 52 million but you gotta remember this these are all affected by prices i have a problem with tvl and the way it's handled because the coin price will affect the tvl but that's not a good and it's going to change per day so like that's not a good view of like how it's being used on the network because the same you know you could have five people when the price is higher and five people and the price is lower and the TVO will be less, but those people are still doing as much activity. So it would be cool to have a better metric than TVL. I, I don't think it's the, I don't think it's a perfect metric. It's, it's, there's some flaws in it. Uh, now this is really interesting. While the NFT trading volumes were significantly lower, Hedera did record a 230% surge in on-chain NFT activity in the past quarter. Now I'm going to assume that was 
based on the quarter before, but they should they should point that out, and they probably do in the when they go into more depth. But is that quarter over quarter? Is that compared to last year's third quarter, or is that compared to quarter two? I'm not sure, but a surge is good either way. So glad to see. Glad to see that. I think that looks very healthy for Hedera. And as the price is, goes up, we're going to see that TVL number increase. Not a perfect, like I said, not a perfect metric. But 43rd is not too bad, considering its market cap tends to be around 31. And this is the Hedera chart behind me, by the way. Uh, it, we'd hit up to about almost $0.07 cents at some point for some little spikes. And then now back to we're holding it around $0.06 cents as I record this video which may be different by the time you're watching it. Now this next one I had to uh, I had to look twice because it's very similar in name to a famous gas station or a very well beloved gas station franchise that's near my where I live, but this is called Quick Pick, not Quick Trip and it's a it's a last mile delivery service looking at some Hedera integration. So let's see what's going on here. The Airbus, this is from Quick Pick the Airbus A380 is called the Queen of the Skies. The Bugatti Chiron is the King of the Road. We get Quick Pick as the Emperor of Logistics Service because we just dropped a bomb, ladies and gents. We present you get <laughs> Quick Pick times Hedera. Quick Pick integrates the Hedera network. So delivering the good stuff, as always, in the month of September, we integrated Peer HQ so you'd have easier payment options. If that wasn't enough, we have another integration. Just like Batman and Robin, we've joined forces with Hedera to further enhance our services. I like, I love that they found a way to say this in a very non, a less than boring way. You know, a lot of people just like, we are proud to announce our partnership with blah, 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 blah. And we're gonna be like, I like, I like that they just put a little juice in here. Uh, you know, making a Batman and Robin reference or a Bugatti reference, at least uh, it breaks up the monotony. You know, so they probably got some good HR people or us, sorry, PR people working for them. If you didn't know before, Get Quick Pick is a Web3 powered last mile delivery platform harnessing the efficiency of blockchain technology to provide delivery services. I did not know that before seeing this announcement, but sounds good to me. Now we've integrated Hedera into our platform for even more functionality. And here's just a tip of what that integration has in store for users. Well, let's see, let's see. Payment processing and tracking, no more delayed or failed bank transactions because you now pay for your service services with the Hedera stablecoin. Remember we, we, we covered how Hedera had built a stablecoin studio Probably uh, probably very useful in this endeavor right now. We all know how fast and seamless blockchain transactions are, especially on Hedera and Algorand. That's why they're my two favorites that I cover on this channel. I know I'm like, I know I'm still leaning heavily into Algorand content. I'm working on building my sourcing in Hedera as well because I really think Hedera has something here. Uh, wallet integration, what's a Web3 powered app? If it can't through its services and utility, onboard more people into the Web3 space. We've brought Web3 to you with the integrated non-custodial wallet on our platform. So they have their own wallet on the platform, okay. I wonder if it integrates with uh, Hashpack and other things, let's see. Traceability, who doesn't wanna know if their lunch is stuck in traffic on Allen Avenue or with the rider at some bar? <laughs> but that's that's interesting that they would present that scenario. Uh, Hedera's DLT allows you to track packages from origin to destination. With these amazing functionalities and integrations, why are you still having doubts? Did I say I was having doubts? I don't know. Uh, Quick Pick rules the world of logistics and we'd keep delivering the, I think they meant will, will keep delivering the good stuff. So that's really interesting. Uh, I think that's really, really interesting that, that Hedera, this is the kind of use cases I think are gonna be strong for Hedera. You know, when you need, when you have supply chains and you need to do tra transaction, I'm assuming the gossip function actually helps with stuff like tracking in real time, which may, you know, aren't, aren't, straight up transactions like they would be on say Algorand, but are something along those lines, but basically verifying and confirming without actually a, a money transaction. I think that's really, I think that's really useful. I mean, I know Algorand can do zero cost transactions too. Like it's a transaction for zero, zero dollars. So I think Algorand is probably capable of something similar, but I've always said Hedera is strong because you got these. You got these huge companies like Google, IBM, LG, Dell now that believe in it enough to run a node for Hedera and be part of Hedera's network. That that that's an indicator of something. That's an indicator that these businesses see Hedera as a viable partner, and so I, I think that's a big deal. I think that's why I'm bullish on Hedera. But let's go to more news. This one's pretty short. This is just Japan. Binance Japan adding. 
adding Hedera to or adding HBAR to its services now. Obviously, there's some bigger news with Binance since I uh, since I put together this list. You know, Binance uh, CZ is stepping down. He's facing a four million dollar fine for allegedly launder money laundering. Clearly, he chose to settle and step down instead of. Uh, from what I understand, I haven't looked into it super deeply, but. But anyway, fine. Binance Japan, they're listing HBAR, Near, ARB, Op, GRT, IMAX, Render, Mana, EOS, Gala, they can keep Gala, <laughs> Ape, and Clay. You all know how I feel about Gala if you've been watching my channel. I have not, I've not touched a single one of their game. I haven't opened my account. I'm just done with them. Uh, Binance in Japan has announced the list, inclusion of 13 tokens in its platform for Japanese users. And that brings the total number of tokens to 47. And Nier, you know, I'm a big fan of Nier as well. Uh, so I'm glad to see they're they're adding that. But yeah, HBAR, Nier, Arbi I think it's Arbitrage, is it? Arbitum, I'm sorry, Arbitum. OP, GRT, IMAX, uh, Render, Mana, EOS. God, EOS is like, it's from way back. EOS has been around a long time. Gala, Ape, Clay, and LSK. I don't think they say anything too, um, too interesting, although, although apparently the... The general manager of Binance Japan, Takashi Chino, says that he sees the growth as part of a broader mission to offer 100 tokens in Japan. And, you know, for us in America, you know, if you've got Coinbase, I mean, there's probably a, a hundreds on there right now. So interesting that they have such a small number in Binance Japan, but uh, that's HBAR is now part of that. Glad to see that. Glad to see that added to Binance Japan. And then one more for you, and then we'll let you go. I just thought this would be cool to look at. This is LG's Art Lab which is a platform for NFTs, but it, it's really different than I'm used to seeing from an NFT platform. So let's let's just take a look. I wanna show you guys what this looks like. Just the ones that are coming up. I mean, this is not what I'm used to seeing. This is not what I'm used to seeing with uh, NFTs. I mean, these are very, this is, you know, this is what I, this is in the realm of art. And some of these like this, this just looks like a, like a, like a, like a lounge, a really weird white lounge in the sky. Um, but this is like, I don't know. I, I this this seems more art than say, like we don't we don't see like characters, right? Also, I only see like two in there. They're free. Well, that's interesting. Some of these appear to be free. Um, you know, you're not in their videos too. Oh, interesting. I just think this is interesting because this is not what I'm used to seeing. You're used to seeing like the the generative characters, and it's a little bit different. This one looks more like it's just based on art. If I just go to marketplace, it looks like there's a lot. Interesting. There's ones that are like almost free and then ones that are ones that are uh, well then they say not for sale which is interesting but then there's some that are like 1500 and 3000 i don't even know what to make that's so random How about, is there anything on drops there's just this one you know this is clearly painting so i, I think this is interesting I, just because it's kind of a different take on it but also like i'm surprised they haven't tried to get more artists on here because it looks pretty sparse, but I just thought that was worth looking at. I think it's kind of interesting to see what, what's going on in the Hedera ecosystem with that. I'd like to, if you, do you have a favorite NFT platform on Hedera? Why don't you leave it in the comments and uh, whichever one I see the most, I'll probably try to check that out. Maybe add that for the next video. Anyway, guys, thanks so much, so much for watching. Uh, nice to see Hedera's price going up after so many declines. I think we'll see more of that as we get closer to the the real bull market toward, you know, really really next year uh, with the happening happening sometime around April May of 2024. Post that we will really see some coins taken off. But I'll tell you, some of my coins I'm already taking profits in. So, anyway, hope that was useful for you today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I forgot to say it before, but you don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. And uh, otherwise, stay safe out there. I'm Frugal BC, and I will see you in the future. Thank <laughs> you.